Caution. This video may contain mature material some viewers might not find suitable. Deal with it! Such as this. Come here, cupcake! Them, but not at you. Alright! Shut up! Stop it! No good! No! Alright! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! But well, this time, you must commit to the crime of disturbing the peace of our village. And the next time you fight, it will be your head! so young. But news struck nine. I, me, sad hours seem long. Was that my father that went hence so fast? It was. What sound as length as Romeo's hours? Not having that, which having makes them short. In love? Out. Of love? Out of her favor. Where am I in love? Alas, that love so gentle in his view should be so tired, tyrannous, and rough in the proof. Alas, that love whose view is muffled still. Should without eyes see pathways to his will. Where shall we find the only that brain is here? Yet tell me not, for I have heard it all. The best to deal with hate, the more with love. Why then, O oh brawling love, O oh love and hate, O oh anything, nothing first create. O oh heavy lightness, serious vanity, misshapen chaos of well seeming forms. Feather of lead, bright smoke, cold fire, sick breath. Still, waking sleep, that is not what it is. This love I feel, that feel, no love in this. Dost thou not laugh? No, cause I rather weep. Good heart of what? At thy good heart's oppression. Why is such love? Have it pressed with more of thine. This love that thou hast shown doth add more grief to too much of mine own. Love is a smoke, raised with the fume of sight. Being purged, the fire is part of the love of Being vexed with the sea, purged with the love of the fear. What is else? The madness most discreet. The choking gall. Oh, 
Might I have thy daughter Juliet's hand in marriage? For the family. Being but heavy, I will bear the light. Nay, gentle Romeo, we must have you dance. If not, I believe me. You dance have dancing me. shoes, with nimble soles. I have a soul of lead, so stalks me to the ground I cannot move. You are a lower, frail cupid's wings, and soar with them above a common bound. I am too sore. Pierce with his shaft, soar with his like feathers, and so bound, I cannot bound a pinch above dull wool. Under love's heavy burden, I do sink. And sink it in, should burden love, too great oppression for a tender thing. Is love a tender thing? It is too rough, too rude, too boisterous, and it pricks like thorns. If love be rough with you, be rough with love. Prick for love pr for pricking. And you will beat love down. Give me a case and put my visage in. A visor, a visor. What care I with curious eye doth thou quote formities? Here are beetles' brows shall bl bl blush for me. Come, knock and enter, and no sooner in. But every man betake him to his legs. A torch for me. Let wantons light of heart tickle the senseless rushes with their heels. For I am proverbed with a... Grand Sire phrase, I'll be a candle holder, and look on. The game was near so fair, <laughs> and I am done. Tut, done's the mouse, the questionable own word. If thou art done, we'll draw for these that admire of this sir, sir reverence love, wherein that thou stickest up to ears. Come, we burn daylight. Oh! Nay, hey, that's not so. I mean, in, sir, in, in delay, we waste our lights in vain, like lamp by day. Take our good meeting for our judgment sets five times an ear, once in five wits. And we mean well in going to this map, but tis not wit to go. Why may one ask? I dreamed a dream tonight. And so did I. Well, what was yours? that dreamers often lie in bed asleep oh then I see Queen Mab hath been with you she is the fairy's midwife and she comes in no bigger shape than a Gaston on the forefinger of an elderman, drawn with a team of little atomies, atwarth men's noses, and lie asleep, her wagon spokes made of long spider's legs, the cover of wings of grasshoppers, the traces of smallest spider webs, the collars of moonshine's watery beams, her whip's cricket bone, the lash of the film, and her wagner a small gray-coated gnat, so big, so round, little worm, prick from the lazy finger of, of a maid, 
Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by Joiner Squirrel, old, old Grub, Time Out, Mines Ferry, cock, uh, Coachmakers, and in the state gallops into the night. Though through lovers' brains, through lover, ah, oh God, through, through lovers' brains, in which they then dream of love. Or courteous knees, the dream of courteous straight. Or lawyer's fingers, who straight dreamers on fees. Or ladies' lips, who straighten kisses on dreams. Who angry mab, blisters plagues, because her breasts with sweet meats painted are. Who sometime she gallops over her courteous nose, and then she dreams be smelling of, of a suit. And then sometimes with a tiggy pails tail, Tickling a person's nose as they lie in sleep, the den dreams he of benefice. Sometime the she drives a soldier's necks, and then dreams of he cutting foreign throats, of breaches a skimmer's mattress blades, a health five fathoms deep, and then anon dreams in the ear in which she he starts wakes and be frighted swears a prayer or two and sleeps again, this is that very Mab that plats the manes of horses in night and becks the elf locks and foul sluggish hairs which once untangled much misfortune blondes bodes this is a hag when maidens lie on their backs that proposes and learns them first to bear making them wo making them woman of good carriage then she Peace. Peace, Peace. Thou talkest of nothing. True, I talk of dreams, which are children of an idle brain, begotten of nothing but vain fantasy, which is the thin substance of in the air, and more inconsultant than the wind, whose woes even now frozen bosom, bosom of the north, even and being angered puffs away, turning his face dew dropping south. This wind you talk of blows us from ourselves. Supper is done, and we shall come too late. I fear too early, for my mid mischiefs some consequence, yet hiding in the stars shall bitterly begin this fearful date. With this night's revels and expire them I inspire the term of a despiteful life closed in my breast, but some vile forfeit of untimely death, but he that hath scourged my course, dragged my sail, on blessed gentlemen. Strike drum! What does a month you have at this party be? Our business is our own. Yes, your business may be your own, but your, your business should be out of here, not be in your own here. Oh, is that a fact? Yes. Well then, prepare for a counter -order. I suppose that if you just leave each other alone, everything will be quick and smooth. Yeah, you can leave each other alone as you go out the door. You will not be standing. That's how it's safe. Who art thou, fair maiden? I am Juliet. Who are you? Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. The same here. Like I steal a kiss from you. Of course. 
Superman. You kissed by the book. Julia, you simply must marry Terry. Oh, but Mother, I wish not to. I know there is another man out there. There's no other man but Terry. But there must be, Mother. You see, there has to be. There's more fish in the sea. I'm not destined to just one. Are you saying you want to marry more than one man? No. I will find whoever is right for me. Where the right man is Karen. Never. What shall this speech be spoke I for our ready, man. Holy sh No way. Yeah, I was hooked. Why? Okay, give us a around what scene are we doing? Like uh, three or scene three? I've lost track and I just realized that I was recording. Oh, what will I do? Our dear Rosaline has not left me back. I wonder where I'll be. Wait, no, this is not. That's from a scene from Rick and Morty. I failed! Attack on the kingdom of Capulet! Ah!